Greetings, everyone. I'm Rex Lewis, and on behalf of HTH Engineering Incorporated, I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar. Today's topic is the three elements of a user profile and how they fit together. So let's get started. From time to time, as I log on to different customers' computers, I find that they have a user profile window that looks something like this. This person has created three separate user profiles for himself. One for a USB microphone and a general medical vocabulary, one for a USB microphone and a non-medical vocabulary, and one for a digital recorder and his general medical vocabulary. He may be able to use all of his devices this way, but it doesn't allow Dragon to help the profiles that use the microphone to learn more about his voice when he's using the recorder. And it doesn't help the recorder profile learn about the words he uses when he's using the non-medical vocabulary. Each profile in a case like this is completely isolated from all the others. This means that not only are they unable to learn from each other, but also any templates or macros that he creates will have to be created two or more times, once for each profile he has created. This would lead to a lot of duplicated effort and a lot of frustration if he calls for a macro or template that he knows he's created and nothing happens because it was created in one of the other profiles. This is just one area where this kind of mistake can happen. And anywhere we make this mistake can lead to similar problems. So let's take a look at the various elements of a user profile to see how each element interacts with the others and benefits the overall profile. A user profile can be divided into three basic elements. The voice profile, the input source profile, and the vocabulary. Think of them like spokes on a wheel. The place where they all meet is the user profile. Within each of those three elements, we'll need to cover four subpoints: its definition, its importance, its creation, and switching between the various elements. We'll cover each of them in turn. The first and most obvious part of the user profile is the voice profile. Usually, it's named after the user. This is Dragon's collection of information about how your particular voice works. Is it deep and resonant? or high and thin? Is it smooth or gravelly? What type of accent do you have? Let's focus on that last one for a minute. When you see the letters S-T-E-N-T, -E do you say stent, 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 or perhaps estent? Different regional dialects, as well as accents from totally different languages, will affect how words are pronounced. Also, the words that come before and after a given word may affect how you pronounce it. For instance, if you want to say, I put a stent in, are you the kind of person whose pronunciation of that would sound like, I put a stent in, or I put a stent in, or I put a stent in? When you first create your voice profile, Dragon has you read a predefined text. Dragon is studying you to hear how you pronounce those different letter combinations. It isn't really trying to learn what words you're going to say. Instead, it's trying to see how you pronounce that vowel in the middle of the word, or that S at the beginning of the word. Once it knows how you pronounce letters in different environments, it can assemble the words that you use. This is why when reading that predefined script, you should read it naturally, the way you normally speak. If you alter the way you pronounce things to try to help Dragon understand you, you will be forcing yourself to alter the way you pronounce things when you actually dictate. Consistently remembering to modify your pronunciation in that way will make your job much more difficult. This is also why you don't want to have other people speak into your profile at least not very much, and not very often. Dragon continues to learn from the dictation that it hears, and will begin to add into its knowledge of your voice the speaking style of the other person. This would confuse Dragon and reduce its accuracy. 
You create this part of your user profile and your first choices of input devices and vocabularies by choosing Profile, New User Profile on the Dragon Bar. Then select New. You can also start by choosing Profile, Manage User Profiles, then choose New. Some older versions of Dragon call it Dragon instead of Profile on the Dragon Bar. Either way you work, if you have set things up properly, you as the person dictating should really only need one voice profile. If for some reason you do have more than one voice profile on your computer, you simply need to go to Profile, Open User Profile, and double click on the one you want to open. But, as with most things in Dragon, there's more than one way to accomplish this. You can also choose Profile, Open Recent User Profile, and then click once on the profile you want. The second part of the user profile is the input source. This is Dragon's collection of information about the qualities and characteristics of the microphone or recorder that you use. Different microphones and recorders will have different audio qualities. The question is, when you speak into your input device, does Dragon hear this? Or does it hear this? Or could it, or be, could that it, it be that it even hears this? this? Dragon also needs to adjust the volume of the signal it receives from the microphone. Too soft of a signal and Dragon won't hear you. Too strong of a signal and Dragon will not understand you because of distortion. In addition, Dragon needs to know where the input device is attached, whether USB, mic in, or Bluetooth, or if it's a digital recorder or smartphone. This is why each time you add a new microphone to Dragon or change what microphone you're using with Dragon, you may be forced to do the microphone volume check and the microphone quality check. This allows Dragon to hone in on the audio characteristics of your input device. This is why each time you add a new microphone to Dragon or change what microphone you're using with Dragon, you may be forced to do the microphone volume check and the microphone quality check. This allows Dragon to hone in on the audio characteristics of your input device. This is why it's important for you to properly identify the device you're using. It's also why it is extremely important to make sure that Windows is getting an audio signal from only one audio device at a time. You can switch from one to another as often as you like as long as Dragon knows what you're using and as long as it receives a signal from only one of them at a time. And one more thing. This is also why it's important, if you can avoid it, not to have things like radios, fans, or air conditioning vents blowing directly on the area where you're sitting. One input source is defined while creating your user profile to begin with, but if you want to have more than one input device available to you, it can be added to your existing voice profile without creating a new voice profile. Just choose Open User Profile from the Profiles menu, or Dragon menu item in older versions. If you have more than one voice profile, then highlight the one you want to add the new device to and choose Source, New. Make sure you pick the option that corresponds to the type of connection the new microphone has to your computer and then just follow the directions. In this case, I've chosen Digital Voice Recorder because I want to consolidate the three profiles I have here into one. I would have to record four and a half minutes into the recorder and then have Dragon listen to it as profile training. If it were a microphone, though, I would be able to skip the longer reading. However, you will have to repeat the microphone volume check and the microphone quality check since Dragon needs to get to know the new device. Once you've finished the training, you can look in your Open User Profile window and you will see that you now have the same voice profile name twice. Once for the USB microphone and once for the digital recorder. The two input devices can now benefit from each other. Although you can switch from 
one input device to another by going to open user profile and choosing the input device you want. There's another way which you may find easier once you see it. Just click on profile, then point at open recent profile. Off to one side you will see a listing of the available profiles. Just single click on the one you want. The last part of the user profile is the vocabulary. This is Dragon's collection of the words you use. Different vocabularies will obviously have different words, and the more you can keep those isolated from each other, the less opportunity there will be for Dragon to put the wrong word in, because it used one from one vocabulary that sounded like one from another. Dragon will never put a word into a document that is not a part of its current vocabulary. So if there are words that you use frequently that aren't in the open vocabulary, it would probably be worth your while to add them in. Some people, however, need to have access to more than one vocabulary. Perhaps you are an orthopedist, but you also specialize in hand surgery. Perhaps you even frequently send emails to family members and want to be able to dictate non-medical things to them while still getting high accuracy. This is where having more than one vocabulary comes in handy. From the Dragon Bar, choose Vocabulary, Manage Vocabularies. In the white area of the Manage Vocabulary screen, you'll see a list of the vocabularies you currently have available. To add one to, to that, simply click New. Give your new vocabulary a name that will help you identify what it's going to be used for, and then choose which Dragon vocabulary you want it to be based on. This is where you can choose all the different medical specialties. In this case, since I'm consolidating the profiles I have, I'm going to create a non-medical vocabulary using the general large as the base. Then click OK, and in a few moments, the new vocabulary will be available for use. Just remember to open the vocabulary that you want to use when you want to use it. There are more ways to switch between vocabularies than there are ways to do either of the other two things. You can go to Profile, Open User Profile, and select the one you want. You can also go to Profile, Open Recent User Profile, as you could do with the input device. Finally, you can go to Vocabulary, Open Recent Vocabulary, and choose the vocabulary you want to use. Now that we have all of our vocabularies and input devices under one common voice profile, let's do some housekeeping. We can rename our main profile and get rid of all the extras. If you have any templates or macros in the two extra profiles, you may want to export them before deleting, otherwise they will be lost. I won't go into how that is done for the sake of time. The easiest way to take care of the extra profiles is to close any open profile and then go to Manage User Profiles. Once those templates and macros have been exported, you can highlight each of the profiles you want to get rid of and click Delete over to the right. Next, when only the one user profile is left, choose Rename to the right and get rid of the extra parts of the name you don't need anymore. Now close this window and go to Profile, Open User Profile. You can see now that there are four entries under that one voice profile name. Just double click on whichever combination of input device and vocabulary you want to use. Before we finish up for the day, I want to tell you a little bit about HTH Engineering Incorporated. We offer a complete line of software, digital voice recorders, call-in recorders, and smartphone applications to meet the needs of those who dictate and transcribe. We also offer multiple brands of transcription equipment that allow you to control the playback of digitally recorded media, both audio and video, with a foot pedal. But we do far more than that. We are a true engineering firm that not only sells dictation and transcription equipment for the average user, we also handle custom engineering of systems to meet the needs of larger organizations, all the way up to systems needed by national governments, parliaments, and 
other large multi-voice organizations. We are a certified partner for Olympus Professional Audio Products, an elite partner with Dragon Medical, a certified master digital center with Philips, and we have an A-plus accreditation with the Better Business Bureau. You can contact us by phone at 866-254-0714, or you can find us on the web at www.startstop.com. We look forward to helping you with your dictation and transcription needs. We thank you for coming today and look forward to seeing you next time. All right, this is me back live again. Uh, this is Rex Lewis, and uh, that's the presentation that we had for the day. And I wanted to know if uh, any of you have any questions uh, on your on the control panel for the go to meeting. Uh, there is a chat window and a questions window uh, that will allow you to enter any questions you may have. Uh, so if, if you'd like to do that, uh, just go ahead and, and type your questions in. Uh, if you don't see those, the chat window or the uh, question window, your uh, control panel may be minimized. It's probably a small bar over to the right side of your screen and with an orange button on the top. If uh, that button is pointing to the left, you'll need to, if there's an arrow pointing to the left, you'll need to click on that button to see the full control panel. Uh, so if you've got any questions, uh, go ahead and type them in at this time. Right. If there are no questions, again, I want to thank you for coming and uh, appreciate your uh, patience with my failing voice right now and uh, hope we uh, get the chance to help you with your dictation and transcription needs, whether it's uh, through the use of Dragon or some of our other equipment. Feel free to contact us and let us know if there's some way we can help you. Thanks again for coming and have a great afternoon. Goodbye.